All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And as I said before, this is the Ubisoft forward breakdown that I was going to do. And in this video, I will discuss everything that was revealed in Ubisoft forward. Now to save time, I will skip over the parts that we already knew, like Brawlhalla, Rainbow Six, the various mobile games that were featured. Yeah, like it or not, mobile games are a huge thing now. So yeah, that was featured in. And even Far Cry 6 was featured, but it was just a cinematic trailer, nothing really there to break down. The villain looks good and that's about it. So now, getting to the main meat of this uh, video. Now, in the press conference itself, there were many topics. And I have a separate breakdown for Assassin's Creed Valhalla coming. And I have to channel my inner angry Joe for that. You will see why. Now, starting off, we got to see Watch Dogs Legion. Now, nothing new was revealed in that and we basically just saw what we saw in the E3 demo last year. The game is still promising and I will do a breakdown of that video as uh, that uh, game as well. But it still feels like the same, same game they showed in the last E3 without it changing too much. Now I will do, as I said, I will do a dedicated video on that. Watch Dogs Legion will release on October 29th and that is also interesting because Assassin's Creed releases on November 19th and I will get to that too. Now the next game to be featured was uh, Hyperscape. Now it is a battle royale game. Uh, it is set in a more un urban environment, something we haven't really seen before. But other than that, it just looks like another generic battle royale game. I mean, the, skill, the only difference I found in this was that, you know, the skills are not... Uh, uh, skills are not connected to your playable character instead you can pick them up and they are called hacks and i honestly don't know what's the point of you bouncing around as a ball and that is one of the hacks now i saw this game first as in a twitch stream because they were giving out these uh, um, testing keys essentially the open beta is obviously live and you might get to see some gameplay as well from my end i will definitely download and stream it uh, but yeah it just looks generic to me. It just looks like Ubisoft. It is typical Ubisoft. They arrive late at the party and they arrive drunk and absolutely have no idea what they are doing. The typical Ubisoft thing. I don't like to hate on Ubisoft. I really love Ubisoft. They have a very special place in my heart. But yeah, it, you know, I have to say it like it is. So other than that, Hyperscape looks to be, looks to, you know, the next game that will dethrone probably Apex Legends. Uh, it can do that. In all honesty, it has a really good uh, atmosphere to it. From what I saw, I haven't played it yet. Uh, but yeah, overall, just a generic Battle Royale game that is coming in a market that is already oversaturated. And I mean, people are already playing Warzone. Even I started playing PUBG uh, two days ago. And yeah, there might be a market for the game, but I don't think it's for me. Okay, moving on. So this is, of course, uh, moving on from that is the next big thing that would be Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As I said before, I will be doing a separate video on that and break down everything, including what Ubisoft has showed off and what a few YouTubers had to say who got to play. And when I say a few YouTubers, I mean I saw Skelop's video on this and I saw Young Year's video on this and I will link both of those videos when I actually talk about the game because I am basing some of this on what they had to say about it and boy do I have to say a lot about it there is a lot that I am going to say about it but obviously more on that later so yeah the show ended with the Far Cry 6 teaser trailer of sorts and it was just a cinematic trailer no gameplay uh, which at this point I expect from Ubisoft because it is Ubisoft, they have to do something to fuck it up. Now Far Cry 6 already has a release date and that is February next year. So I think it's 12th February next year. Right. I'll cut much of this video part out. Yeah, it's uh, 18th of February 2021. 18th February 2021. Okay. So yeah. So all I can say about this is Ubisoft releasing Assassin's Creed two days before Cyberpunk means a lot. It means that Ubisoft probably has confidence that Valhalla can go toe to toe with Cyberpunk. And both of these games will be the only games that will launch on the next gen consoles. Now I won't ever get a console because uh, even if I somehow magically get some money, I will build a PC because I'm playing on a laptop and it's a pretty crappy laptop right now. 
yeah but it means a lot in terms of sales and ubisoft really competing with cd project red is kind of giving me hope that this game isn't that bad that being said we will get into some of the parts into this game and yeah so i guess that's it for this video uh, stay tuned for the breakdown of assassin's creed valhalla because that is going to be big i mean when i say big i mean a very long video um, and also the Watch Dogs one. The Watch Dogs one won't be as long as a 7 minute gameplay trailer. Didn't really reveal much, but yeah, I do want to share my thoughts on it. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned for those videos. Like the video if you like this video. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel for more videos that are going to come out. And I'll try to put the, both the Watch Dogs Legion and Assassin's Creed Valhalla game out, uh, gameplay out today. Obviously, I didn't play any of that. They are, these are just my thoughts. All that being said, peace.